Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Creature of Fankenstrain. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is medium length, about 25 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 20 crafting, 25 thieving, completion of Priest in Peril and the Restless Ghost quests, and the ability to defeat a level 51 monster and run past aggressive level 72 vampires. The required items for this quest include hammer, needle, five thread, silver bar, three bronze wire, spade, 50 coins, and Amulet of Ghost Speak. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have Holy Symbol for Safety Against Vampires, one Falador Teleport, one Varrock Teleport, Ectophile from the Ghost Ahoy Quest if you have it, Draymond Staff for Fairy Rings from Fairy Tale 2 if you have it, Stamina Potions or Super Energy Potions, Combat Gear, Food, and six empty inventory slots. You start the quest by first going to Canifis. Use a map provided to lead you there. You can either run from Varrock to Canifis, use an Ectophile and run from the Ectophunt or use the fairy ring code ALQ. Once you're in Canifis, head towards the center of town where you will find a sign which is located on the map here. Read the sign and make sure to check your quest list to see if you have started the quest. Now use the map provided to head to Fankenstrain's castle which is located northeast of Canifis. When you're at the castle, go inside and talk to Dr. Fankenstrain, who is located somewhere on the ground floor to interview for the job. When prompted, say yes, brain dead, and grave digging. Congratulations, you have been hired to find five body parts, but before you do that, you must put on your ghost speak amulet and talk to the headless gardener ghost who is located in the north end of the castle. Ask him what happened to your head. He will offer to help you find his head and will follow you for 10 minutes. Now is where you'll have to put on your holy symbol as you will be running past level 72 vampires in order to find the grave that the ghost's head is at. Head towards the fairy ring ALQ and find the grave that is located on the map here. If you get lost, talk to the ghost and he'll give you some directions. When you are at the grave, you can left click on it to check the name to confirm that it is Ed Lestwit. Once you are at the correct grave, stand on top of it and dig using your spade to get a decapitated head. Run back to Canifis and go into the pub that is located at the south of town. Talk to bartender Roavar and ask him, can I buy something to eat? He'll offer to sell you a pickled brain for 50 coins and then say, I'll buy one please. When you have the brain, use it with the decapitated head to merge the two items together. Now go back to Fankenstrain's castle. Use the staircase on the west side of the castle to go upstairs. Search the bookcase in the west room and choose the option, The Joy of Grave Digging, where you will find a marble amulet. Head to the far east room and search the bookcase. Choose the option, Handy Maggot Avoidance Techniques, to find an obsidian amulet. Use the two amulets on each other to receive a star amulet. Exit the castle and follow the path east towards a group of tombstones. Use your star amulet on the last tombstone. Push the memorial to enter. Follow the path until you come across a level 51 experiment. Kill it to receive a cavern key. Once you've got the key, use the northwest passage until you reach a gate. Open the door and search the chest nearby to get another key for exiting later. Go up the ladder and use your spade in the front of each of the three graves to receive legs, arms, and torso. Now you'll have to return back to Frankenstrain's castle. The easiest way to go back is to go down the ladder through the cavern following the southeast path. Use the ladder to go up and follow the path west to the castle. Go inside the castle and talk to Dr. Frankenstrain and say, I have some body parts for you. He will ask that you bring him a needle and five thread to sew the body together. Talk to him again to give him these items. He'll also ask that you fix the lightning rod. Talk to the headless ghost gardener again with your ghost speak amulet on. Ask, do you know where the key to the shed is? The ghost will give you the key. Open the shed that is just north of the ghost and search the cupboard to find a garden brush. Exit the shed and find canes lying on the ground just to the east. Collect three canes and use each one on the garden brush to extend it. This will use up your bronze wire. Go back upstairs using the west staircase and enter the western room. 
use a garden brush with a fireplace in the room to receive a conductor mold. Now you'll need a furnace to create a new conductor, so teleport to Falador. Head towards the furnace nearby and use a silver bar on it to bring up the menu. Choose the option Lightning Rod. After the Lightning Rod is created, you'll have to go back towards the castle. You can either teleport to the Ectophantus with your Ectophile, or teleport to Vrock and run to Canvas, or use the Fairy Ring near Edgeville to teleport to the code ALQ. Go back to the castle and go upstairs. Enter the most southern room and use the ladder to go up another level. Left click on the lightning conductor to fix it. Head all the way downstairs and talk to Dr. Frankenstrain again, who says that the monster tried to kill him, so he locked it in the tower. He'll give you a key to go kill the monster, but don't worry, you won't actually have to fight it. Go back upstairs and enter the center room, and use the ladder to go up another level. Talk to the monster who introduces himself as Lord Rologarth, and he'll tell you that the good doctor tricked him and his subjects into becoming vampires. Go downstairs and pickpocket the doctor to steal the Ring of Cheros and complete your quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, Ring of Cheros, which allows access to Werewolf Agility Course, and 1000 Thieving Experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.